Hello everyone. Vlogmas day 10, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that right. Um, so today, it's nighttime already, but we are baking. I'm going to make banana bread today with, so disclaimer, I am not a baker. <laughs> I, I'm hardly a cook. <laughs> um, so this could be interesting, but there is a recipe that I got that looked, uh, kind of weird and it called for three pretty ripe bananas and I have three pretty ripe bananas so gonna make banana bread and see how it goes it'll probably be a, it could be a disaster or it'll be really great You'll see what I mean once you see the recipe. <laughs> okay, so I have one and a half cups of flour in this bowl. And then we're gonna add two uh, teaspoons of baking powder. When? Two. And then we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Perfect. So then the instructions are to preheat your oven to 350. So I already did that. And then it says to grease your pan. So I'm going to do that now. So... <laughs> Wow, professional. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is so funny. So if you... This is what my mom used to do when she would bake. So she would just get like a plastic baggie and scoop some butter on it. And then use that to grease whatever like pan she's using. So, like so. How much you're supposed to grease it. That looks good. Good enough for me. There's the oven going. So we can put this away. So the next step it says is to in another large bowl. It says put one cup of white sugar. Now, that seemed like a lot of sugar to me. <laughs> so, I did like uh, three quarters of a cup, and I'm gonna be adding the chippets to this. So, some people would say, don't mess with the recipe the first time, but sometimes you just have to live on the edge a little bit. And this is baking, people change stuff in baking all the time, don't they? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. So, three cup, three cups, three quarter cups, three quarters of a cup, what is wrong with me, of sugar in this bowl. Okay, so in this bowl I have the sugar, three ripe bananas, one egg I'm about to put in. This is the secret ingredient. Half of a cup of mayonnaise, and I think it was one teaspoon of vanilla. So we'll get that in this bowl, and then I believe the next instruction is to put it into this bowl. One teaspoon of vanilla. Maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> That's probably like one and a half, because I really like vanilla. 
And then I'm going to get let's get this out of the way. And then we need half of a cup of mayonnaise. I'm trying out this banana bread recipe that calls for half a cup of mayonnaise. Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Maybe a little, yeah. Oh, where's your Oh, they're in my coat pocket. Isn't that weird though? Mayonnaise? No, mayonnaise is Baking stuff? A lot of recipes in general. You know what I've heard? Them put mayonnaise on? Um, turkeys. Oh, I thought it was that. Yes. It's oil, right? Mayonnaise is oil. Yeah, it's just like eggs and oil. Um, I guess I have to put the vanilla back in my baking bin. This seems so wrong, <laughs> but I I know that mayonnaise is just oil and like, you know, eggs. So like, I get it, but I feel icky doing this. <laughs> Okay. So then it says to beat everything together. <laughs> so, or mix everything together. Mmm. Delicious. If you didn't know, you're on top of the copy maker to get this angle. So on the instructions, it says to put the flour into this bowl, but I didn't read the instructions before I started. So I'm gonna put this mixture into here and hopefully it will still be okay. And then it says to fold the mixture together. Is this folding? I don't really know. I'm kind of winging it. <laughs> and I feel like I've made banana bread before. So I know that it has to be like a batter. <laughs> and I know that you should scrape the sides to make sure there's no flour sitting at the bottom that you didn't get when you're pouring it. like a good batter. I opened the chippets already and I had some of them. <laughs> so these are like the mini chips. I don't know, probably about that much. 
Let's mix it in. Yeah, that looks good. Not like too chocolate chippy, but not, not enough chocolate chippy. Oh, this batter is a thick boy. Okay. You have to do this with every like cake, but I know people do it. They get the air bubbles out. Okay, so oops, going into a 350 degree oven for one hour. The banana bread looks like a success. So I'm gonna leave it cool in here for a little bit and then I'll take it out once it's not like super hot. The banana bread is done. It came out cleanly from the pan. Look at it in its glory. I'm gonna slice two pieces for Gary and I and I'm gonna put some margarine on it. Wow. I'm so proud of this. I gave us each like a piece and a half. I didn't cut them very thick. All right, I've got some margarine on both of them. So let's try this out. It's pretty good. Now that I'm having it, I feel like I could have added a little bit more chocolate chips. It looked like it was enough at the time. But it's pretty good. I would recommend this recipe 